do some squatting. I know a lot of you guys have been asking how often I squat. I was squatting twice a week for maintenance and I'm gonna start upping that probably to three times a week for endurance and stamina as we move into the CrossFit Games training, um, as training starts to pick up. So today on the weekend I hit eights, so a little higher volume. Today we're gonna go through some fives into some singles and then I like to end with some front squats. So if I start with back squat, I end with front squat. If I start with front squat, I end with back squat, usually one to two times a week. And then my third day would be in the middle of the week, it's gonna be some squatting with conditioning. So more of aerobic squatting, making me squat when my quads are burning or my heart rate's up, more of kind of the wad stimulus. But for today, it's gonna to be a strength day and I'm excited to take you guys through it and then take you some, through some of my accessory on the end. Today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take five sets of five. I like to put my squatting on a clock, even if it's a strength day. So every two minutes, I'm gonna hit one set of five, building in weight, today's heavy five. Today's, I'm out of breath already for warm-up. So today's heavy five, and I have a goal weight in mind where I wanna end. So I'm gonna shoot for that, and then from there, on the next, when I would hit my next set of five, which would have been six set, I'm actually gonna start singles. Every minute on the minute, one single into a heavy single for the day, just to start to prep my CNS, get a little bit of loading on the back. I haven't been hitting heavy singles because for me, it kinda knocks my CNS down, um, but I definitely need to make sure my legs are strong and they're ready to go as we start prepping for the CrossFit Games. So for my jumps, I like to plan out where I want to end. And I think it's super important to make sure you don't over jump your last jump. So what that means is I just made a 20 pound jump. So I'm jumping from 205 to 225. I will not out jump that. So there's no way I'll go from 225 to 255 because that's a 30 pound jump and my CNS won't be ready for it. So I'll keep all my jumps at 20 pounds and I try to calculate that when I start to make sure I don't start jumping 10 pounds and then think, oh shoot, I'm not gonna get to my number and have to make a really big jump. So I'd rather take bigger jumps in the front and then I can make that jump smaller at the end if I'm feeling good and I'm closer to my number than I was hoping to be towards the end of the sets. seconds before I go right into my single so no extra rest um, I'm going to start around 285 and I'd like to be 300 or over for my single I haven't put more than 280 or 85 on my back I've been hitting multiple sets so time under tension is good um, but this will be on the minute and it's just a stimulus that I haven't felt in a while so we'll see how it goes oh I got a real good feeling that that is 315 so 95% my best is 325 and I've only hit that once uh, and I haven't done singles or anything heavy I've been doing eights and sixes and fives so I think that shows you time under tension does so much for you you don't necessarily need to be building to a heavy single because that's what hurts your joints the most all the banded stuff that we do all the accessory work is really paying off so I'm super pumped I'm gonna take a one minute reset. Now I'm gonna work four by three front squat at 90%. I think, I gotta look, maybe that's wrong, but whatever I just hit on my back squat. So this will be spicy. All in all, it was a really good squat day. Sometimes mentally, when you see the numbers or the things that you wanna hit, can be a little bit like, not daunting, but intimidating. And I feel that way sometimes all the time, actually a lot. So it's like, okay, I know I can do this. Don't let my mind talk me out of it. So if you guys ever experience something like that, definitely just go off of how you feel. I had not a great day on Friday. 
and today was awesome. So you also have to take into account how much have you slept, how much water have you drank, are you tired, um, are you stressed outside of the gym? All of those things go into how you feel when you train. So make sure don't beat yourself up if you don't have a great day and then also celebrate the days that you do have a good day. So I'm super pumped about today. It went really well. Um, I like doing the front squat and the back squat. It just helps you train one of the lifts when you're tired. So I hit all of my back squatting and then I went into front squats and normally a weight that isn't super heavy started out pretty heavy on my first set and then I slowly got my legs back under me and that reminds me of a Metcon when you're doing a speed clean ladder and you've already done all of these reps and you get to the heavier bar. Sometimes you've just got to get a set out of the way and then your legs start to come back and that's kind of what these remind me of. So I really enjoy pairing the two together. It's just a different stimulus and I think it helps build really strong legs and IBEX training also believes that so that's why they give it to me. So I do it. I like to end heavy lifting with accessory for my posterior. So if I lifted and focused on my legs, then I also focus on my lower for posterior and accessory, things like that. So today I'm gonna do hip thrust. I had to think. Uh, 10 to 12, you wanna go heavy. So I really like to do, especially after squatting, a horizontal push um, for the glutes. So horizontal pushing strengthens your glutes a lot. So you'll see me doing a lot of the single leg elevated banded hip thrust or barbell hip thrust. And then I'm gonna go into single leg work, banded Bulgarian split squats. Uh, more just focusing on one leg at a time. It's not about the weight that I have because it's gonna be band resistance. And then I'll do a set of 20 death march, just kind of around my garage, focusing on hamstring activation. And that, and that again is single leg at a time. So even though I'm walking, I'm isolating one leg each rep. And that feels usually really nice on your hamstring, creates good blood flow, and then it also helps protect your joints and keep you healthy after you've gone over some heavy lifting. When I do these, you can buy a pad for your hips. I just don't have one here. Milo thinks this is his towel. Um, so when I do these, I like to either grab a towel, a yoga mat, something, and just put it across my hip bones because that's where the barbell's gonna lay. And that way I don't focus on how much it's digging into my hip bones and hurting, but I can actually focus on the movement itself and where I wanna be activating and feeling the movement. So I grab a towel, you'll need a bench or some sort of a box. You're gonna come down to your butt with your back just right against the bench. From here, I like to roll, so I use the rough meets the smooth as my gauge. Try to center that right over my hips, rolling it onto my body. And I do clip the bar. I always notice that if I don't, the plates tend to slide. So I like to clip my bar, elbows back on the bench. From here, I'm just gonna get my feet set so I can dig my heels into the floor, take a breath, bracing. I'm gonna lift my hips to get my back on the bench. Now you can take your arms, and I like to hold my hands right at my side just to evenly balance the bar across my body. I'm gonna lower my hips down, controlled weights in my heels. Then I'm gonna lift, driving my heels to the ground, squeezing my butt. And I like to hold for at least two seconds, lowering down and then lifting and squeezing. Your shin should be vertical and you should really think about pushing your hips towards the ceiling, squeezing your butt, keeping your midline nice and tight. I hope you guys enjoyed the session and hopefully you learned a little bit about squatting and how I like to train or how IBEX training helps me train and it helps me feel strong and mentally prepared. If you are getting back into the gym and you're looking for a strength program or you're looking to get stronger, IBEX training offers a six week strength program. So make sure you guys check that out. It's got a lot of the stuff that I did today. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna be getting or gearing up for the Rogue Invitational. So if you're interested to see the breakdowns, to see my thoughts, to see my actual workouts, everything Rogue Invitational involved, which is gonna be happening June 13th and 14th, make sure to like and subscribe because we'll be bringing that to you guys right away. We're super excited about it. This is kind of the first competition like it uh, online with all of us across the world. So I'm excited to give it a go. I'm excited to use it as a benchmark, or not a benchmark, but kind of see where I'm at training wise. And then I'll take a couple days off and we're gonna go hard and prep and train for Aromas. Obviously Dave said it's gonna be a wild ride, so we wanna make sure we are ready for that. We also have some giveaways coming up, so make sure you guys like, you subscribe, so you are ready when we do those giveaways because we've got some super awesome stuff coming your way. So stay tuned and thanks for joining in today. I hope you guys have a great day.